So Nick, uh, off to New Zealand in about 10 days. Talk us through a little bit of the kit you're taking with you for your test series. Uh, thanks Ian. I've just got back from doing a bit of preparation in South Africa where there's obviously a little bit more sun because it's, it's pretty cold back here. But um, back in the indoor school at Lords and just trying to get final preparation before I go to New Zealand in about 10 days. And for me, I'd say bats are probably the most important thing. I really look for um, about 2.7 or 2.8 in my bats. So this would probably be a very good example of it, the new E41 bat that you guys have brought out. It's really nice stickers, uh, looks classical, uh, looks nice and uh, it's important to look good, isn't it? But uh, yeah, for me, it's just quite important to have quite a wide profile. I always find that uh, when you look down at your bat and it looks really wide, it just gives you that bit more confidence that uh, you're not sort of playing with a toothpick, you've got something behind it. So, so that's what the kind of thing I look for, but I don't like it too heavy, so 2728 would be a, a rough size with with quite a big chunk in the back. Um, and I like my grips are quite specialized as well. Um, I like quite a thin top hand and then a, a thicker bottom hand. I just find that it accentuates the, the top hand grip. I have a bit more feel on the top hand and I just find that that's obviously a dominant arm. So it's something that, uh, that I just got used to over the last couple of years and played around with. Um, so going on from the bats, you know, obviously a thigh pad, um, you know, bowlers tend to bowl to the back of a length. So this is the thigh pad. Um, it's quite a nice size, obviously fits the whole thigh. Anyone knows when you get hit by a ball on the thigh, it can be actually very sore, very painful. You get a big meaty bruise that normally lasts about three weeks. So I try and avoid that as much as possible. And this it's, it seems to cover it all. It's very lightweight. And what I like about it is that these bands go right along the width of the and breadth of the, the thigh pad, which means that you get a much snugger, fitter, tighter sort of feel, and then make sure that also this doesn't snare and come off, so it's very secure, which is which is something that helps the player comfort. And uh, again, probably the most important bit of equipment is the is the helmet. You know, it's something that is it's quite specialised, something that you you kind of get used to over time, but uh, it's important that it's comfortable for you. But uh, this this bit of uh, equipment yeah, can save your life, so it's something that. You know, we all nowadays we take very seriously, and uh, Grenicles have made a great helmet here, yeah. which fits very snug, feels good, and yeah, pretty much ready to go. Other than that, I suppose you've got pads and gloves. Um, have we got any gloves here? I don't think we have. But yeah. uh, this series, you uh, you're going for the E41 pads yeah. and gloves. Uh, what, tell me about the gloves. Why did you choose that E41 glove? Well, I just I like to use all one range. I just find that it's, uh, it's just something that fits more comfortably. But I think the gloves for me, I've always been someone who likes gloves that are very, very easy to use. So almost a lower range glove at times have been better because they have less protection in a way, which makes them a lot easier. Nowadays, protection is important. But also the, the type of leather is very important. I think when you spend long times out there, it can get very sweaty, very hot, and you don't want your gloves to sweat up too quickly. And also, if you do dry them, you want them to go back to how they were as quickly as possible, rather than some of them sort of crust up and what have you. So I find that those gloves are probably the most flexible ones and the ones that feel like I'm actually using my hands. You know, you want to feel like you've got real feel on the grip. So that's, what I, that's why I've chosen them. And I think the pads as well, they just look nice and neat, not too big, not too in the way. Um, don't want to use them too much. So yeah, no, it's been very good. And I think uh, you know, I'm ready for the tour now, really excited about getting going and, and putting it to use. You mentioned earlier about the bats. Um, how many are you taking with you? And um, how do you choose your number one? What, what sort of decision that process is? I'll leave that one up to you. And you should, you should be, they should all be number ones. Um, just tapping them up, you know, just have a feel in the nets, just see which ones go the best, which one feels the best. They're all slightly different, although they're very similar. Um, so I find that that's been very important. I'll probably take about, uh, from anything from about five bats, four or five bats, you know, maybe five or six, you know, just I'll just have a look. Um, it's three tests, there's one warm up game, so hopefully I won't break five bats in that time. But uh, you never know, it's a bit cooler out there as well, so bats can go. Um, and it's important that you've got stuff that you're comfortable with. So from now until then, I'll be like hitting them in, making sure that they're ready to go. Thank you very much, Nick. Thanks, mate. Yeah, thanks for all the kit, it's great.